In this example, we're going to be determining whether a function is even, odd, or neither. Um, we're going to be doing a trig function. Um, so a quick refresher on what it takes to be even and odd, um, and then we'll apply that on our problem. So if you have yourself an even function, the most basic one that I think of is just a basic x squared centered around the origin. So with that, you have some sort of a parabola. And for every x, y coordinate you have, you also have a reflected point, kind of a, an even is going to be uh, reflected along the, um, the y-axis. So every point you have on this side, you'll also have this point. Okay, so we're going to use that for every x, y you have, you also have a negative x, y. Okay, and if you have an odd, which is going to be an x, x cubed, it's kind of the most basic one I think of, is it has this kind of a look to it. Um, and the idea here is for every x, y that you have, you also have a negative x, negative y. Okay, so the idea here is it's symmetrical around the origin. So if you rotated this 180 degrees, rotated that 180 degrees, it's going to look exactly the same. Those points are going to line up. So the problem that we have is we're going to test to see if this function sine x divided by x is either even, odd, or neither. All right, so test this. We're going to take our even, and we're going to look to see if um, an x, y is our original coordinate, is kind of originally how this equation looks. It's as if we just have positive x's and positive y's that if you were to plug in a negative x positive y, can you manipulate this back to the original? Again, as if that point doesn't matter if you plug in this point or this point. So we're going to take our original function. The y value is not going to change. And um, here we'll write out the original. So here's our original. Now we're going to plug in our new coordinate. Y value doesn't change sine of negative x divided by negative x is what we're looking to do. So that's where these properties would going to kick in. So for this, um, anytime you have a negative angle in here, it's equivalent to having the negative pulled out, essentially, with a positive angle. So if we rewrite this, we're going to have y equaling a negative sine of positive x divided by negative x, and those negatives will cancel, and we will be able to simplify it back to the original. So if we can turn it right back to the original, then it is going to be considered even. Okay. Now usually if it's a function, even and an odd are, are usually not a thing, but we're going to double check um, just to make sure that if even works, odd probably doesn't. So in odd, we're looking to see if this original coordinate, um, if it doesn't matter for that. So original equation looks like this. And we're going to replace the y value with a negative y value and an x with a negative x divided by negative x. All right, so nothing to do on the left. And this, just like before, we're going to rewrite as a negative sine x divided by negative x. And these cancel. So we get sine x over x. Now, the goal, again, is to try to see if we can manipulate this in any way, shape, or form to get it back to the original. But if you try to get rid of that negative, you're just going to apply the negative over to the other side. Um, so there's no way to get this back to this. So it is not going to be, so it is not odd. It is just even. But that is us verifying that it is just an even function and not an odd function. So that is the idea um, each time. Is, and if you don't remember it, it's just basically to draw yourself your most basic um, kind of odd function. Make sure both of them are centered around the origin. 
um, x to the third and kind of look at your coordinates and see, all right, for every x, y, you should have a negative x, negative y, and then for all the evens, for every x, y, you should have a negative x and a positive y, making it symmetrical around the y-axis. And then take those coordinates and plug them in and see if you can manipulate it back to the original. And if you can, then it works. Then it is even or odd, um, depending upon which one works. And if neither of them work, then it's either. All right, so this one is an even function. Thanks.